Hey, Brian from Garage Mall. Today I have a Bison Echo wireless lavalier microphone set. So um, I have a boom mic here, but I always want to walk around the studio and I'm like, I need a wireless mic. So now I have a wireless mic. So let's check it out. So it comes in this cool little case and this is the directions. And it's pretty, I guess it's pretty straightforward. So like there's not much to it at all. I mean, that is that. So it says connect the receiver to your phone and receive indicated lights above. Uh, mobile phone brands, you know, it's got a bunch of different ones. Press the function key for three seconds to turn on the microphone. Uh, then a battery indicator will, will indicate. And then, so yeah, so that's pretty neat. So let's see what other stuff we get in here. So this is the little pack shows like the wiring cables it has like a little adapter for you so it looks like a, a lightning to the USB-C so that's that little pack in there so you also have have a little headphone that comes with that little wire tie on it let me get that undone Let's go. So that is a single ear microphone, kind of handy. And then this is going to be one of your USB cables. So you got a USB C on one side and a USB, I forget what these are, like the B to A, the regular standard charge. And then we have our microphone system here. So let's open that up. So this is going to be the receiver that you connect to your phone. So pretty neat. I guess that is it's a little home in there. It feels like it's magnetic. So yeah, it's magnetic. So it's a little too. It's got a nice little magnetic. And then this is going to be your microphone. I guess they all charge from the case. So, yeah, it has a little USB adapter here. Plug that in. USB C router on the bottom. So, I don't know if you can see. I kind of have a little bit into frame. So, it's showing 62, so I assume it's 62%. So, I guess it is charging everybody up. And that's what the average is going to be on those so okay let me open my phone up and actually I have a little magnet thing there let me pull that out so transmitter plug that into the phone so right away it looks looking to connect Let's read the directions a little bit more. Uh, there's no battery for the receiver and no need to, to recharge during live streaming. If your phone is low battery, it can recharge directly through the port as shown below. So it does have a pass-through port on the side, so you can charge your phone as well as have this receiver hooked up. So that's pretty cool. Then let's open up one of the mics. Okay. So that turns on and the red light. Okay, so the red light's blinking. Let's open up the case. Let's take out one of the microphones and we'll hold it in for three seconds. And it looks like it's made the connection already. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't look like it has a full battery charge, but I have a charge it basically going on to go here. So let's get this little microphone in place. So I mean, it's like super light. Holy cow. I can put it like right there. And I feel like I'm wearing it. Okay. So let me go into here and then let me open up my camera.
Then let me just record something real quick. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, and it's pretty cool because it said automatically that it's recording through USB device. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna set this up kind of like this, kind of out of the way, and I'll upload this footage so you can hear what the, uh, the microphone actually sounds like. So as I stand out of frame over here on this side, you can still hear me, but I want to see how far this will work. I'm gonna walk into the other side of the studio so we can tell if the volume stays pretty consistent. Now I'm walking behind my cameras, behind the scenes, and I'm gonna go back, just because I wanna make sure I'm not picking up uh, the mic on the actual phone itself. So we'll see how consistent it actually stays. And here we come back into frame. And let's stop that. And then let's go to our video. Testing one, two, three, and it's pretty cool because it said automatically that it's recording through USB device. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna set this up kind of like this. So hopefully you can hear it. Kind of way, and I'll upload this footage so you can hear what the, uh, the microphone actually sounds like. And obviously I'll still upload it, but I figured I'd just so give it a demonstration. So out of frame over here on this side, you can still hear me, but I wanted to see how far this will work. I'm gonna walk into the other side of the studio so we can tell if the volume stays pretty consistent. Now I'm walking behind my cameras, behind the scenes, and I wanna go back just because I wanna make sure I'm not picking up uh, the mic on the actual phone itself. So we'll see how consistent it actually stays. And here I come back into frame. And let's stop that. Okay, so that's good. I'll upload the video so you'll be able to tell what like any type of I guess I call it latency, like delay or anything else. And the volume sounds pretty good. I mean, it, it sounds like a good video quality. Obviously, it's kind of, it's always difficult when you hear yourself on a recording to actually, you know, hear yourself. But I want to see how it does in a video compared to me talking, then going into frame of, of this video to see actually how it performs. But yeah, I mean, that's so far, right? I mean, I'm pretty impressed. And just to give you an idea, I went about 20 feet off of my studio on the edges of it, and then all the way in the back, and then I, I came back here. So obviously 20, 20 feet away. Uh, I don't think you want to get much further just because like how many cameras are going to be able to zoom in, but it's nice to know that you have that ability to, to do. And it looks like it's charging up pretty quick because we're on 70 already. And you get a second mic, so you'll have two microphones that you can put on one person and then the other, and then through your um, cell phone, you'll be able to record like the whole conversation, uh, interview, video, whatever it is. But yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, very impressed. Uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching. And that is your, uh, your Bison Echo Lavalier wireless microphone. Thanks for watching and be safe out there. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, and it's pretty cool because it said automatically that it's recording through USB device. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna set this up kind of like this, kind of out of the way, and I'll upload this footage so you can hear what the, uh, the microphone actually sounds like. So as I stand out of frame over here on this side, you can still hear me, but I wanted to see how far this would work. I'm gonna walk into the other side of the studio so we can tell if the volume stays pretty consistent. Now I'm walking behind my cameras, behind the scenes, and I wanna go back just because I wanna make sure I'm not picking up uh, the mic on the actual phone itself. So we'll see how consistent it actually stays. And here I come back into frame. And let's stop that.